Greetings, Zero here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudo Monotype. Last time, I tamed not one, but two gym badges, and beat both of the OC Donut Seal rivals. This time around, I'll be checking out Mount Mortar and making my way to Mahogany Town. Anything here? Nope. Let's see. Okay. Oh. Now, I'm not sure if they actually added the Suicune event for this over here, but... Well, that or didn't trigger. Okay, so here, if you're wondering, is a place called the Berry Tower. Um, it's kind of like the Trainer Tower, but, well, you run through it, you beat a bunch of trainers. At the end, there's actually an area that has several, that actually has quite a few high-level wild Pokemon. It's a great place to train for the Elite Four. Stop messaging me while I'm recording, dipshits. Oh, and you can buy stuff like Revival Herbs here, Fresh Water, which is basically a super cheap super potion. We'll actually buy a bunch of those. Because they're really cheap. Once I'm high enough in level, I'll probably be going through here quite a bit. But, anyway, let's actually go down into here. We're going to check out the lower portion of Mount Mortar first. There's a couple of items we can get here. Now, this is another place that could have gotten Meryl, but it's a much rarer encounter than it is in the Lost Woods. Full Restore. Nope. Now this place right here... That's where Moltres will appear if you place the red flute on that pedestal, which we're not going to do. I have no reason to. Oh yeah. Up here... Well, Black Belt Keo is actually up there, but we can't fight him until we get access to Waterfall. Okay, so let's go over here. Here's a PowerPoint up. In fact, you know what? I know what I'm going to use that on. And up here, we have a Carbos. Use her speed. Let's see, can we use that on anything? Nope, not you. Okay, that'll work. And that's everything we can check out in this part of Mount Moore, so I'm gonna head back topside and go the other way. So now let's go this way. We go up this way, and we find, I believe this is a guard spec. No, heal powder. Basically a cheaper full heal that makes your Pokemon annoyed at you. Might be useful. We're actually going to push this over here. We can check out what's up in the back. Over here is a Hyper Potion. Max Potion. Okay. Let's see what else is up here. Nope. A Nugget? 
Cool, I can sell that. Oh, there's another item there. We'll have to go back around and get that. This guy's mistaking me for his buddy who's somewhere else in the cave. Now, I guess I just have to go back around. Jumping to the right this time. <clears throat> well, I guess it didn't really matter. I thought there might have been a hidden item over there. Oh well. And now we just jump down here. There's another trainer up here. <clears throat> okay. If you say so. Yeah, oh, uh, well, I'm not a kid, but I guess the player character is. And down here is a red shard, which, as far as I'm aware, is completely useless in this hack. Oh yeah, and also in that lower area of Mount Moral where we were, you can find Wild Relicanth, which, just like in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, can hold green shards. But the green shard has been changed into something else in this hack. I'll show you in a bit. Now we arrive in Mahogany Town. So, of course, you can't go all the... Or, hmm? Well, yeah, you can't leave town because of that guy, the Rage Candy Bar salesman. It's like, you know, bitch, my, t my team could easily push you aside, but no, you're forced to play nice. And this place is run by Team Rocket right now, which is why you could buy Slowpoke Tails. That is the item that replaced the Green Shard. Oh, and it should be noted. That other guy was trying to rip you off and make you pay, like... Or, I forgot how much it was, but it was a lot. Here, you get it for about well, 200 yen. It's like, what, two bucks? But we can sell them this. So after visiting the Pokemon Center, we go up to the north. Now, if I tried to come up here earlier... <clears throat> before getting the uh, knuckle badge and the mineral badge, there would be a cop here blocking if you're going north. Which makes me wonder, was he on the take? Was Team Rocket bribing him to keep people from going to the Lake of Rage? Oh, and this guy is a boot tutor. Now, let's see. Uh... We're going to turn it down for now. If I want it, I can get it later, but I can only use it once. <sighs> it's always fucking rain. What's the point of having fire-type attacks if it's just going to be raining all the time, which weakens them? Fuck off, Sandshrew. Now, I could go in there, but Team Rocket mugs you if you do, and makes you pay him to go through. Fuck that. Over here. Go away. There's a cut tree. And person berries. Yes, I am. I guess you could say I do. Let's actually go down here real quick. Go away. 
get ourselves an item. Max Eater. <clears throat> nope. Uh, oh, that wasn't the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go up and around. We'll talk to this guy over here. Yep, your rival beat him up too. did all right. Better than many of my opponents do, anyway. I didn't do a damn thing. You just suck. Now we take on this guy over here. Now, let's just keep going around this way. There's some items we can get here. Here you get Hidden Power, which is completely fucking useless in this hack because the damage output is bugged. And we get the TM4 Detect. Anything else over here? Nope. Let's go back. Now here we are at the Lake of Rage proper. Now Lance's sprite probably disappeared at the placeholder sprite. Let's see, is there anything else over... Oh yeah, this guy, you show him... Uh... A big magic harp. I mean, it gets kind of arbitrary, and I think it gives you something. I never really bothered. Now, supposedly the magic harp in the Lake of Rage were going to be bigger, but in the original Gen 2, well, it was actually bugs, so they were smaller. I'm not sure how the hell that was supposed to work. Differing size mechanics didn't really exist back then, unlike now. Whereas, I think this hack actually fixed that. We go over here. And get a rare candy. Now we're actually going to save. And we save because anyone who's played through Gen 2 knows that this is where... Well, there's a guaranteed shiny here. Hi, Gyarado. No, not you. Okay, no. That'll work. I mean, I can't actually use it, but... Eh. I'll check. Well, whatever. And, uh... Well... I guess I'll call you Crimson or something, because... Well, you're red. And the red scale is an item you can bring down to Mr. Pokemon, the guy you initially got the Tokopi egg from to bring to Professor Elm in the tutorial, and he'll give you an experience share. Go away. And here's Lance. Now we can talk to him. Anyways, back to Mahogany Town. And this is actually where we're going to cut, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's a bit of sh a short episode, but, well, we've got the whole Rocket Hideout segment coming up. So, uh, that'll just be its own video, I guess. Anyways, if you like what you see, uh, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time. Oh, and it finally stopped raining. Good.